With Jordan Pugh, I'm Gabe Bach, and we're watching tape on Justin Evans, the JUCO transfer here as an early enrollee going through spring drills. And Jordan, you've gotten your eye on him, talked to people, done your homework, looked at the JUCO tape. Your overall thoughts on Justin Evans, the the incoming strong safety. Ah. Was with him and Watts, I think an impact. You know, we already talked about Watts being an impact. I think he's also a huge impact as well. Now, when you look at him in person, when he's here, he's put some size on and he looks he looks the part. He looks like somebody, yeah, uh, that's my strong safety right there. You know, absolutely. Now you look at Justin, you know, he's a beast from the east. Exactly. You know, number one, what, number one safety recruit in junior college? Absolutely. You know, something like that. And, Out of and East then, Mississippi. Exactly. And then you look at him, you know, he's always around the ball with 86 tackles, 13 pass breakups, two forced fumbles, six interceptions. That's somebody who's around the ball. That's somebody that will fit the Chavis system perfectly. Perfectly. You look at his strengths, though. Here's what I love about him, and here's why they have him at strong safety. He's great in space, a great tackler in space. He's opposite of Watts when it comes to that. Yeah. And so that's somebody that you want in the box. You want somebody around the ball as much as possible, and he'll he'll hit you. He'll strike you. That's another thing. You know, I think the biggest thing that uh, that he would have to work on is maybe playing the ball in there. You know, when you get guys who are aggressive, who are great box players, who can come down and strike, play great in space, the hardest thing to do sometimes is play the ball because you're so worried about knocking the guy out. You're so worried about just making the play. So I think yep. if he can get better at playing the ball, that will help him. It's kind of funny the dynamic between him and Watts because <laughs> Watts is great at playing the ball, but he's not as good as playing the run. Then you got a guy who's great at playing the run, but not as good as playing the ball, which is you know, technically how it's supposed to work out yeah. strong and free, but you want to see them both basically be able to do the same thing. They complement each other. Let's roll the tape on it. They complement each other, but you right. want the other to help the other one get even better at what exactly. their weaknesses are. So like what right, are we seeing here? Right there, you're seeing great closing speed. You know, you're seeing a, a great motor from him. You know, a guy who doesn't give up on the play. Look we're at talk, Chase. We're talking about effort plays from Armani. You're seeing the same thing from him. You know, you're seeing aggressiveness. Quick read right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look at he, that. He read that quick re out, didn't he? Reading a uh, three-step drop. Key quarterback to receiver. Quarterback to receiver. That's exactly what you want as a, as a, a defensive backs coach. And another guy, and another play right here where you're coming in just being aggressive, going after the ball. No matter what you want from your safety, you want your safety to always be in attack mode, and that's what you get with Evans. That's the thing that yeah. you love about him. And that's where it's an interesting dynamic between Evans and Watts <laughs> because Evans is always in attack mode, always. Yeah. And you can say one of his weaknesses, though, is, hey, know when to attack and know not when to, and not to attack. But look at that great tackling ability. He's Absolutely. aggressive going after the ball. He went for the strip on that tackle. You know, his closing speed, his reaction right there, that's what you look for. That's it, that's it in the safety department. And going for the ball, too, he's not giving up the big play Exactly. You know, he's got really sound technique, it seems. And a lot of times, isn't that a knock on junior college? Look how, look how good of a tackler, right. he, tackler he exactly. is. Exactly. You know, one of the things, one of the best players I've ever seen who can who can dislodge the ball but still make the tackle is Chris Tillman from oh, yeah. uh, the Chicago Bears. I have never seen anybody like him where a guy can be running full speed and he'll just knock the ball right out of his hands like it's nothing. When you when you look at him, you see a guy whenever he tackles you, he attacks the ball as he tackles you. And that's how he's able to get what uh, the forced fumbles that he had, he was able to get the pass breakups that he had while he was in school. I think it was 13 pass breakups. Uh, the two force fumbles because he's going after the ball constantly, constantly. And when you keep going after that ball when you attack and when you go to tackle, you're going to dislodge it eventually. Yeah. And that's something that you want. You want your defensive backs to create turnovers, and that's what he is, a turnover machine. Yeah, Mississippi Gold Coast there, man. He's so good. Look how slippery he, slippery right. he is against the run on screens in the screen game. This guy lives to be in the backfield, doesn't exactly. he? Exactly, exactly. And that's why he's a perfect fit at that strong safety spot. So what are the weaknesses? A guy that loves to live in the backfield, I, I believe Howard Matthews loved to live in the backfield, but he was susceptible sometimes. This guy's going to come in, I think an upgrade, right. but it is right away a brand new level of football in the SEC. Mm -hmm. Can he be susceptible sometimes? Are you seeing that? Now, this is a highlight package. We're not seeing if, all the negative plays, but do you think he might be susceptible to the, I'll tell to, you the this. to the big pass, the big if play? I'm a, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I'm watching Justin Evans play, the first thing that I'm putting into my package is play action. That's the first thing that I'm doing. But not only am I doing play action, I'm doing sprint outs. I'm doing boots. When you have somebody who's that aggressive, 
okay, that's fine. I'm gonna let you be aggressive, <laughs> but in the in the meantime, I'm gonna get I'm gonna out leverage you in the in the meantime. So you know when you look at play action, let them come up on the run, hit them uh, uh, over the top on a pass. Good you, offensive coordinators and quarterbacks can prey off of that. Exactly. If you're not careful. when you look at sprint outs, a lot of sprint outs, you look at a lot of over outs by the receiver. So well, something I would do, I would play action and sprint them out, and I'll send that receiver right behind them. Remember, like I, like we said uh, in an earlier segment, one in front, one behind. I send that fullback to the flat. I would send that receiver right behind him, and that's something that he's gonna have to get better at. And that's it's something that you love as a defensive coordinator. You love the aggressiveness, but you just have to know when to be aggressive and when mm-hmm. to be. You hate using this word on defense, but passive. You got to be able to know how to balance both, and that's something he's going to work on. Maybe not passive as much as over aggression sometimes there, for a yes. safety. We can, we can say over aggression. Yeah. Still, the definition of the position is last line, line of defense. Of defense. Now, you can go exactly. eat, but sometimes Trent Hunter had this problem. Ex- yep, been a lot of safeties here have had this problem <laughs> lately. Oh, yeah. Is eye, bad eyes in the backfield, right? And that's something, man. It's it's hard to correct once you get that habit. Mm-hmm. It's hard, especially when you're down in the box. That's where you love Chavis' system. You know, you love you love the man the man part of the system, but at the same time, he asks his safeties to be playmakers. So at right. the same time, the safeties have to train their eyes, no matter what it is, no matter in practice, especially with spring ball going on now. They have to train their eyes. So especially when you're looking at two man, you're looking at six six seven DBs on the field. All those guys are covering. You need two guys to stay deep. <laughs> so that's where they, that's where they come in, and I think that'll be a great improvement. And like you said, he's an upgrade. He's a great upgrade at the strong safety position, especially just watching him play, especially watching him in practice. So I think it's going to be great for the defense. You know, later, a few weeks down the road, you'll come back and we'll look at Donovan Wilson. Right. There will be a competition there. Yes. But do you project instant starter with Justin Evans? Right now, I see it. I just see it, especially just watching him and Watts together. I see the, the chemistry that's already been built. I see two guys taking over the defense, taking control, making adjustments. That's something that you need on defense, especially playing in the SEC, especially playing with Chavis. You need guys to take control, and that's something that you get from those two. Great stuff, Jordan. Thank you so much. All right. I appreciate it. He's Jordan Pugh. I'm Gabe Bach. We're watching tape on Justin Evans here on TexAx.com.